Sup everybody. Um, haven't done a rent in a while. Um, was just thinking about, you know, making it work in Thailand, how to make it as a fighter. Um, <clears throat> you know, the old thought process that, you know, knock out tires to beat them. Um, you know, use hands because they're no good at hands or whatever. You know, it's a pretty old school mentality now that doesn't really work. Um, most of them can punch now and um, <clears throat> yeah, it's you're not really going to outscore them with punching unless you're really, really hurting them anyway. Um, but it's more what I'm wanting to get at is um, how taking in the whole culture, the whole spirit of the game, spirit of the, the martial art will get you further in Thailand. Uh, if you can get in there and you know you you do a beautiful run moy, you you fight Thai style. They're, what they show, what they teach, you teach, you fight that style, and you know you play the chess game, not just go hell for leather and try and knock someone out. If you can go five rounds winning on points in Thailand, you, you're doing good. You know that's that's kind of what you what you should be aiming for to be able to out outscore the ties at their own game. Then you're winning at Muay Thai. You know the. I was no good at it due to mainly I guess my my work rate was shit um, I always you know I tried to fight as Thai style as I could but my work rate was shit so I literally had to had to KO them to, to win like ever I think I beat one tie on points I reckon um, but <clears throat> at the at the top of the game the, the way to do it is learn how which is important for a trainer to know it then you can they can teach their students how to outscore the ties how to play the chess match it's all good and well like being in your own country doing what i like to call so in australia australia's version of muay thai you might have the same sort of style of shots and whatever but it scores differently so and you know each stadium scores differently so that kind of like different um in australia like different rule sets for or maybe even in in the world like with soccer slightly different rule sets depending on where you are in the world whether it's a european league or an australian league, whatever i don't know i don't even know how soccer works so that was probably a stupid fucking option um <clears throat> but yeah learning the rules of that stadium how they score how you're going to win on points really important um, also executing beautiful Muay Thai showing your understanding of the whole culture of Muay Thai not being arrogant being humble but dangerous is, is a, probably a good description for it so when you get in there you get in there you do your Waikou Rumway you look good you you show that you are relaxed you want to be there and you play the game for two rounds and then it, it kicks off in the third round probably the reason I don't like the three round fights is because of there is no there is no way to really play the game as such uh, it scores a lot differently as well but yeah I'm talking like Thai stadiums proper Thai stadiums like you know the Lumpinis Radunen uh, Omni Langsit all the all the ones that are important with the big promoters um, you get in with a with a big promoter, a good promoter, then you're pretty much destined for superstardom if you if you continue doing the right things. I think the mentality that needs to change is that we need to not play their game to beat them. It's starting to change now where you see the foreigners like there's um, Lobo, he's a good one. The, the, any of the Brazilians from um, Leo's gym, uh, Phuket Fight Club, they're amazing. They're, they're... Leo understands the, the tie game. That's the reason. The trainer understands it. Um, so, yeah, I think it's really important that you, if you're going to Thailand, obviously no one's going there at the moment, but if you're going to Thailand, that you choose a gym that has a trainer who understands the stadiums, especially if you're going to a gym that's run by foreigners or whatever. 
depending if, if the stadium, you know, stadium Muay Thai is what you're after. There's obviously, you know, the, the holiday Muay Thai or the three round shows or whatever, but I'm literally aiming this at stadium Muay Thai and it's really important to understand the stadium Muay Thai if you want to be a superstar in Muay Thai. Um, yeah, there's, I know I went around in circles a little bit there, but if, if you get what I mean, it's really important that you take on the whole process of Muay Thai, not just being able to punch, kick, knee and elbow like a Muay Thai fighter. So yeah, find a trainer who understands Muay Thai and you'll be right. Thank you very much and peace.